This video covers two key things about regular polygons. The first thing that it covers is to do with the angles inside and you can break, kind of break up into triangles and the second thing is to do with what is called the exterior angle. So let's look at the first thing. Um, how could we work out the total of all of the angles oops, of all of the angles inside a polygon? polygon being like a shape made up of lots of straight sides. Well in this case it is a pentagon because it has five sides and if you link from corner to corner you can make it into three triangles. If we'd started it, the triangle somewhere else you s it still ends up as th uh, three tri triangles from the two lines. Now the way I like to argue it is this, oh look each of those angles added together makes 180 each of these three angles added together makes 180 and oops let me just find another color each of these three angles added together makes 180 and the thing to spot is we've just recreated that angle with the blue and the green one we've recreated that angle with the red and the blue one that angle was just one of the red ones we've recreated this angle using one of each color and then just the green one reproduce that angle there. Oh look! So if we add all of those angles together we'll have exactly the total of all the interior angles. So in this case we do 180 plus 180 plus 180 which makes 540 degrees. Um, there are other ways of doing it so I'm just going to kind of acknowledge that. One is that you might have just learned an equation. I'm not keen on this equation myself I prefer to work it out each time because I think it's more powerful because you can then adapt to certain situations um, better, I think, but hey, you know, whatever works for you. Uh, and a fun little observation is the total of the interior angles of a straight line is zero. <laughs> the total of the interior angles of a, of a triangle is 180. The total of the interior angles of a square is 360. The total of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540. So, oh look, you start at zero for a line, and then you just keep increasing by 180, which is basically just rewording what we already said, but I think it's a nice way to think about the pattern. Okay, so we're going to go on to part two now. Part two is looking at what is called the exterior angle. Notice earlier, just then we were talking about the interior. So this now we're talking about the exterior. So I'm just going to, because we'll be referring to this in about a minute, that's the interior angle in pink. Anyway, let's focus on the exterior. What if somebody goes for a walk? So they start here and they go for a wander all the way around da, 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 and they end up back where they started. Then they will have turned, if they head off in this direction, they'll turn one corner, two corners, three corners, four corners, and then a fifth corner to end up exactly back where they started facing that way. I've just scribbled all over that, so I'm now going to get rid of all that scribbling. The idea is, to get back to where you started, you have to turn a total of 360 degrees. Now, the exterior, which means, if it is a regular polygon, let me just write that out, there we go, if it's a regular polygon, that means that all the sides and all the angles are the same, which means the exterior angle must just be 360 divided by n, which is 72 degrees. So we've just worked out the exterior angle. Um, and I'm kind of, I personally am okay with sort of remembering that equation because it, it makes sense. I think it, it, it sort of uh, just seems to, do you know, I don't know how to express that. Anyway, um, interior angle. If it's a regular polygon, I like to use this method for the exterior angle and I also use it for the interior angle. There are other methods of finding the, ex the interior, but why don't you just do that it's 180 minus 72 which is then 108. My theory being, you only have one thing to remember, which is this. Oh, but I wanted the interior angle. Well, just do 180 minus whatever you get and you've done it. Um, so just to emphasize, that was a five because we were talking about a pentagon. Let's just go back to page one. Page one, we just looked at, or method one, we looked at how we could work out the sum of, the, the sum of all the interior angles. And then we just looked at how for a regular polygon we could work out the exterior. So method one 
didn't need it to be regular. Method 2 does need it to be regular.